Hello, friend. Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's Tim here, and I've gotten some questions about how to insert hex codes for my art tutorials and how to switch your palette from the expanded palette view to the compact palette view on Procreate, so I wanted to create a resource for that. So to begin, for all of my art tutorials, I have the color display of my iPad viewing screen set to RGB Display P3. And these are the display settings I've used for all of my tutorials up until this point. And you can check this by touching the plus sign in the far right corner to open a new canvas. And then in the new canvas window, there's a folder looking icon next to the words new canvas right here in the right hand corner. You're just going to tap that option, which then opens the custom canvas display options here. You will click the color profile and make sure that the settings are set to RGB and display P3. And then you'll just hit create to open a new canvas window, just like this. Now getting into how to insert hex codes. So I wanted to first show the hex codes in extended palette view, and these are just example codes here. This is probably how I'm going to do my hex codes from now on because I think it's going to be easier to work with and to add them in this way. So once you have a new canvas opened up, we're going to open up the palette here in Procreate in the top right hand corner. The little color circle, you will tap that to open the color palette window. And then at the bottom, you will tap on the value section, which is the second to last option at the bottom right, right here. We will need to start with an empty palette. So if you need an empty palette, you're going to click on the palettes option at the bottom right hand corner next to the value section, which will open this window. Then you're going to click on the plus sign in the right hand corner of the window here. And then you're going to click on create new palette. And now let's go back to the value section here and where it says hexadecimal, you will tap on it here and then type out each hex code hitting enter after the end of each one to get the new color. And then you're going to insert that color into the palette across just like this. So there are 10 spaces across and three rows. So altogether you have space for 30 colors. I only have 13 colors in this example. So there will be 10 colors in the first row and then only three colors in the second row. Inserting each hex code color across in order in rows on the palette. It was funny too, as I was making this video, I was like, I really love this palette of colors that I used for the example. So I think it would be fun to do a tutorial with them at some point. What do you guys think? Let me know below. Now, finishing up here with these hex codes, I wanted to share how to turn the expanded palette into the compact palette view, which is how I use them in my tutorials. In the palette window to the right of the word colors, in the middle top, there is a thin light gray rectangle right here. You are going to tap that and then hold it down and drag it to the left, which will minimize the screen just like this. And then along the bottom right of the now minimized window, there is a box on the far right with six tiny squares in it that you're going to tap that box, which will now open the compact palette view which changes the expanded palette view from three rows of 10 into five rows of six. And this view is how I like to use the palette when I'm painting in a tutorial. Now, the old way I used to have my hex codes listed is how you see the palette in its compact view. So like here, I have two rows of six and then one row of one. So it still gives you 13 colors but they are both entered the same way as I entered in the expanded view. So now I'm going to go ahead and reopen the value section with an empty color palette. And I'm going to go ahead and enter the first six hex codes here to get started. And now we're technically starting at the second row of hex codes, but we're actually just going to keep entering each new hex code color in that first row of colors in the palette, just like this. And then once you reach the fourth color hex code in the second row, this gives you 10 colors in the first row of the palette. So that next hex code, which is the fifth hex code in the second row, actually starts the second row in the palette, which gives you three more hex codes left in total, the two in the second row, and then the one in the third row of the example. These three colors left are actually creating the second row of the palette. So that way this palette will perfectly line up with the extended palette view of the hex codes. So finishing them off here, when I enter that last one and then I minimize the palette screen, I'm going to open the compact palette view 
which gives you the exact same palette of colors as before, but now the hex codes line up with the compact palette view instead. So here are both examples compared. Both of them are the exact same hex codes, just listed differently. Both ways give you the exact same result, just a different way to get there. I'm probably going to use the expanded palette view from now on moving forward with my hex codes. That way it's just a little bit visually easier to work with, but I just wanted to explain how I was doing it before. That way, in case you're ever doing an older tutorial, you know how to enter the hex codes properly. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, definitely let me know below. I just wanted to thank you so much too for all of the support on my channel. It means so much to me. I have a lot of digital art tutorials now up on my channel, so definitely go check those out. And if you like this video and want to see more content like this, I invite you to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friend, happy painting.